Hi y'all folks, this is Max from uh, Epic4GTouchRoot.com So I got a uh, new ROM review of the AOKP ROM um, It allows you to cool stuff like uh, I got my calendar um, Just switching there for this week And also my lock screen um, Instead of Sprint, I got it to um, Zetomax um, There's a whole lot of things you can do uh, with this AOKP ROM And uh, everything is pretty much now working out of the box I've been actually watching this ROM um, now Wi-Fi, uh, wireless, WiMAX, uh, 4G is working based on IMM76D, um, this is supposed to be Milestone 5, it's actually not an official version, uh, but it's still, everything's working, um, pretty flawless, uh, one thing you'll have to go is go to settings, and, uh, if you go to ROM control, you can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, my last video was on the Galaxy Nexus version, uh, which I went through all of this, but I'll go through it again for Epic 4G Touch users here. Um, so, general UI, and uh, you can change the LCD density, um, custom carrier lab label, that's what I did. And also you can hold uh, back to kill, um, if you check that option. So, let's say I'm, I'm running um, Play Store, and I'm going to kill it. There you go, application killed. I love that feature. You want to try it again? Quadrant. Uh. Um, so it makes it easy to kill, and uh, if you're not going to use that app, you might as well kill it right on the spot. Um, let's look at some of the other options. Well, control, navigation bar. If you want three bars like a Galaxy Nexus, you can do it, but since you do have capacitive buttons, I don't know why we want to. But you can actually customize it, add, add those three buttons, and uh, make it do something else, you know, maybe launch your three favorite apps just for fun. Um, power menu options, show torch toggle, um, show screenshot. So now I can do, hold down the power button, I can turn on my uh, flashlight, and I can turn it off. Oh, oops, is it off? Okay, it's going to be on. Uh, but I'll show you another method. You can turn it off here. Toggles. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's go to general here. Yeah, that's not it. Uh, performance. Let's go look at some setting button. Um, transparency. You can also disable uh, data to um, say power. Say you're running out of battery and stuff. Um, battery icon style. Um, you can change it to a percentage or with the circle mod. Circle mod is really nice. So you get a nice circle mod there. And uh, signal. You can even change the signal. Uh, we've covered this before. Performance is great for overclocking, but this ROM does not come with overclocking yet. Um, when it does. Um, It'll be good. And you can have uh, free memory up to 100, so it'll automatically kill off apps if you don't have, if you have less than 100 megabytes. Um, there's an option where you can actually do, um, is that under lock screens? Yeah, yeah, here you can enable your calendar, so um, you can see the upcoming events from my Google Calendar, uh, multiple events, Fast Torch. So with the Fast Torch, what it is when you hold, uh, turn your power off, and uh, if you hold down the power button, it's going to turn on your flash. Um, but it, now, it, let me show it again. So I'm going to hold it down. It's going to be on, and it's going to go off when you do it. Um, so I covered all those before, but I just want to show you again for Epic 4G Touch users. Love this ROM. Very uh, practical. Um, the only thing I, I think they should add is some kind of DSP manager, some kind of audio um, equalizing thingy. And, you know that that would make it just perfect. Um, camera is pretty much ICS vanilla style, so you will like it a lot. Um, yeah, let's focus. It will. It was focusing earlier. There you go. It's just too close. I'm, I'm in macro mode. Um, but it works fine. Camera. Not as fast as a Galaxy Nexus, but still fast enough for this phone. Um, so definitely a great ROM. Definitely try it out. Uh, highly recommend it because it's kind of new to the Epic 4G Touch community. Um, definitely love this ROM. And uh, 
um, I guess that's it. Try it out and let me know what you think of this ROM. Um, use a Nova Launcher, that way you get all these things here down here. Um, and that was a quick overview of the new Milestone 5. Milestone means it's stable. This is a stable version of the AOKP uh, ROM. AOKP stands for Android Open Sort. Uh, Android Open Kang project um, used to be all Kang from the uh, CM9, and then now it's developed into a whole ROM. It's it's freaking awesome. Um, go flash it! You'll love this ROM. And if you have an Epic 4G Touch, don't forget to sign up for my email list at epic4gtouchroot.com, where I update you uh, probably like a once well, once a week with ROM of the week, and uh, it, you know that way you don't have to sort through all my videos on YouTube and whatnot. And I don't share your email with anyone else. It's just for you and me. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me here and subscribe button here and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And uh, if, you, there, if there's a ROM um, you've tried or you want me to review, don't forget to leave in the comment section. Um, and uh, I'll put it in my to-do list and it will be converted into a video eventually. Um, and thanks you guys for watching my channel. Stay high on Android. Um, stay high and don't be an eye whore.